Crews making progress in the scramble to get the Transbay Transit Center up and running again. A pair of crack seal beams shut it down last week, as well as Fremont Street. But KPX 5's Jackie Ward reports that the first step in getting the hub open again is now complete. From Friday evening to this afternoon, six jacks are now in place, engaged with the bottom beam that's above Fremont. This is an indication that phase one of three is complete. The four yellow jacks in total can carry up to 1,100 tons capacity, and the uh, blue jacks carry up to 800 ton capacity. We will not be using the full capacity of the jacks. Executive Director of the Transbay Joint Powers Authority, Mark Zabena, says phase two involves getting more materials that will relieve some more pressure from the girders so that all the girders don't have pressure on them. And at that point, we'll be able to take some samples, test them, and find out what the cause of the cracks are. Uh, what we're doing right now is uh, building the shoring system as materials come to a job site. While construction crews are focused on this side of the transit center, we asked about how things look on the first street side. So far, only good news there. We exposed the girders on first street uh, to ensure that there is no cracks there. We did not visibly see any cracks. For a second week, this work is still snarling traffic and forcing buses to use this temporary Transbay terminal. Zabane says he understands people's frustration. I'd like to apologize to the public for the inconvenience that this has caused and assure them that, uh, uh, that we're doing everything we can in order to open Fremont Street as soon as possible and the transit center. This afternoon, more materials will be brought in as phase two gets underway. There is still no definitive timeline as to when all this work will be wrapped up. In San Francisco, Jackie Ward, KPIX 5.